Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, and welcome back to the Madden NFL 16 playthrough, the 8-0 Atlanta Falcons. We'll be on the road against the 1-7 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, if I've ever seen a trap game in my life, it would be this game. How embarrassing would it be if we lost to Jameis Winston and his 1-7 Tampa Bay Buccaneers, guys. I mean, one and seven. How? Oh, it's just so awful. So we have no injuries besides that guy on IR. Let's check out the Buccaneers. I hope that they are just devastated injury-wise because they lost Gerald McCoy. That's it. I mean, sure, he's great, but that's it? Gosh, one and seven. That is, you poor Tampa Bay Buck fans. Man, that is just rough. But we're heading down to Tampa. We got Nero v. Jameis. Uh, V2 here for this season and hopefully we come out on top because again one in seven if we end up losing to them I'm going to be very very disappointed in myself. We're actually just gonna rock the normal away jerseys now We'll see you guys when the game actually launches Hello everybody, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports In today's game we have a matchup of two of the more talented young and explosive receivers in the NFL It's Mike Evans versus Julio Jones. I'm not sure I'd call Julio Jones young at this stage in my career, but uh, <laughs> he is pretty good. He's definitely very good. Mike Evans is great as well. Mike Evans was a really good pick by Tampa Bay a couple years ago. Ah, oh, look at this stadium. I love the stadium. I like the pirate ships, right? You gotta like the little pirate ships that are up there. That's gotta be the coolest part, right? <laughs> the, the theme for the Buccaneers is pretty cool. I've actually been to a Tampa Bay Buccaneers training camp. We were down in Florida for my great-grandmother's uh, 90th birthday back in like 2006, 2007, something like that. And uh, while we were down there, it, it was right around the time they were having training camp. So we popped in and we uh, watched Tampa Bay Buccaneers have their training camp. I forget exactly where it was. It wasn't like in Tampa, I don't believe. I think it was a little bit away. We had to drive to it, but it was still, it was pretty cool. Uh, that was back when they had like Jeff Garcia, Joey Galloway. Um, I can't quite remember all the other people that were on the team. But still, yeah, they had a bunch of, uh, bunch of cool players on our team that year. So it was kind of cool to go to that. Semi player turn here. We get the ball to start on the 22 yard line now. <laughs> let's not screw this up. Yeah, let's not mess this up. Let's come in here and get the win that everybody knows we should get and uh, not fall prey to a trap game. All right, we're just going to run this with Marcus Barnett. Oh, look at him. They're, who would. His name was Jordan, number 95. He got through right away, but he was worried about the play fake. Hmm. He should have stuck with his instinct right there and just went after me. He overthought, he, over, he overthought it, man. That's all he did. He overthought it. So we're looking for Randall Cobb here. That feels like it would be an easy first. If not, we're going to scramble right. And that's going to be Cobb. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, Randall Cobb. Is he going to get caught? <laughs> Is this why they're 1-7? Oh, they caught him. They caught Randall on a 66-yard <laughs> slant route. <sighs> oh, Randall, Randall, Randall. Do we go for the mesh and just get a cheeky corner touchdown to uh, Orson Charles? I think we should. I think it would work. We'll see if they're in zone or not. And they are. And they are. So we're going to dump it off to Julio, who almost got a block there from Marcus Barnett, but didn't quite get the mark. All right, we'll take that. What else do we got here? Let's try, uh, we'll go with the halfback dive. I think that'd work. My controller just vibrated. That doesn't, I don't know, that doesn't usually happen that much in Madden. Um, I think it talked to, oh, 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 no touchdown. I think I talked about it before, but, um, um, I'm losing my train of thought here. I think it'd be cool if Madden were to go the go the old route, like uh, the old NCAA football games. Like if you're away and like the crowd's really roaring, like your controller starts shaking and stuff like that. That'd be awesome if they were to do something along those lines. This is gonna be a toss, right? It should be an easy score because tosses work really well in the goal line. And easy peasy. Well, that drive was. <laughs> I don't know if it could go better than that first drive. I mean, that was pretty much brilliant. Two for two in the air. Uh, running back had, in total, what was it, three carries and a touchdown? Just <laughs> one and seven. This might be, this might just be a routing. Uh, let's try another slant since it worked so brilliantly the first time. <laughs> got Julio and Randall out there. It looks like they're going to be in a standard cover two, though, this time. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Oh, 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 that guy got through. That guy got through. Oh, oh what a throw. What a throw. I'm surprised I'm not hurt, to be honest. 
I'm a bit surprised I'm not hurt. Let's mess with them. They have to be demoralized after that. Or maybe they're all excited because they got a good hit on me. Oh. Oh. So they're rocking a they're rocking a clean cover three here. So that means it's gonna be Charles or your devil in there gonna be getting the ball here, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be my fullback. Easily my fullback. Wide open. I am waiting to the last second and getting cracked as I throw here. But we're four four. That was a bit of a late hit, if you ask me. I didn't realize how, how long it was since the ball was out there. Um, let's go for halfback type. Keep getting Barnett involved. I like just giving Barnett the ball. And right up the middle he goes. We got caught pretty quick by number 51. Whoever that might be. I didn't, I didn't get a clear look at his last name. Gordon. I feel like I know him, but I don't. I don't know. Ooh, deep corner. You guys know I love me some deep corners. We got Stevie Johnson running the corner. Perhaps Julio Jones on the deep post. Let's see. Post is going to be there. Post is... No! Oh! I thought the post was going to be there, and then that linebacker kind of stood around longer than I thought he would. Oh, man. That corner probably would have been there. But uh, I made a bad mistake there and got very, very lucky. Um, let's try a wide receiver fork to the other side of the field. Who do we got over there? It's Martavis Bryant. I'm not, it's basically the same play here. Ooh, so they're rocking that cover three. So it should be, so, so it should be Cobb, right? Ah, the wide open. Come on, buddy. Turn, Martavis. How do you awareness? <laughs> he apparently didn't realize that he was running a corner to the sideline and didn't understand that he was going to be right next to the sideline. So we need to turn around and not go out of bounds. Well, first drive was great. Second drive was uh. I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of that. Let's see that fumble. Uh, never fumble. They never fumble. Always disappointed. Now, they drive down and they scored. I'm not about to have this, guys. I'm not about to have this. We're going to call the same play again just because I love corners. Well, it's the same idea, but it's in a tighter formation. And we're going to see if we can hit Bryant on the corner. And there he is. That might be... Oh, nope. He, that guy's going to catch him. He took a really good angle. He took a really good angle on him. The corner was there just about every single time. Just for whatever reason, we really had trouble actually getting it to him. I don't know why that is. Let's see if we can get Barnett a carry here. Oh, Barnett's going to... Oh, if he hits the hole hard... Oh, oh, they got through. They got the... He, he whipped his block, basically. So, we're not doing too great on the ground so far this week. Um, let's go Verts. I think a Verts will be good. I think a Verts is going to be really good here. And it's one. Oh, that's a. That might be a touchdown to Julio. That might be a touchdown to Julio, and it's a touchdown to Julio. <laughs> Yo, put Julio Jones in one-on-one -on -one coverage. What is this? Was that Paul Kruger I just saw there? <laughs> All right. Well, drive number three definitely made up for drive number two, in my opinion. Considering it, what was that? Two plays. No. Three plays, I think. Yeah. All right, so they're dropping this into a cover three. Do we have any... Actually, go down. All right, I'm just going to hit LB because I can't scroll down, apparently. We're going to go same idea. If you're going to go cover three again, I'm going to burn you again. We're going to burn you again. Oh, my. That was a linebacker. That was a linebacker that was on Julio Jones like glue. Wow. Either that guy is really fast or Julio is slacking. I don't know which one it is. Let's try a uh, fade shot here. Potentially. Oh, God. This is that weird-looking play. I'm going to look for Charles mostly on this play, to be honest. Oh, this is one-on-one -on -one with Julio. I'm putting it up. You got to put up a prayer occasionally. And it got tipped out. It got tipped. All right. Well, now we're going to try a corner here. Well, it seems like every other drive seems to be a bad one. But... This drive's not over yet. I'm going to try and get Charles on that corner. Perhaps Stevie Johnson coming across. And it's going to be Stevie. Stevie might be able to get that first. He was tiptoeing. He tiptoed it, which means he's like two yards short. Yeah. Uh, 7 of 11, 178. Like, I'm doing... I've had, I've had a nice number of deep passes. 178 off of only seven completions. Like, that's pretty good. <laughs> We're doing pretty good this week, but... Uh, Occasionally, we have those drives where we just kind of fizzle out, I suppose. Oh, good. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I was hoping for a good bounce. 
I was hoping for a good bounce, no such luck. All right, uh, send the player turn. And they scored again, so it is now tied up. All right, so let's just get down there and score. Yeah, we are going to try and uh, take a more conservative approach to the offense. All right, so they're in a 4-3. Okay, we only have two. Okay, so they're obviously in a zone. All right, so we're going to go with the verts here. Let's have Nicholas coming on in. And this should work out really well, I think. And it's going to be Nicholas on the end if I had time. If I had time, which I didn't. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Uh, play action Panther digs. Now this is going to be going to Nicholas on the corner there. Primarily, it's my primary target. And got him with the play action. Oh, come on! <laughs> They're getting through. That was Paul Kruger. They're getting through so quick, I don't have time to let the routes develop. I need to have time for the routes to develop here, folks. All right, so we got Julio against the safety. Looks like pure one. Oh! That's Martavis. That's Martavis in one on one, buddy. <laughs> what a catch. We need another win. They have signs that say we need another win because they only have one. That's embarrassing. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now we got Bench. I like Bench. Can I all listen to a mesh? Of course I can. All right, well, Mesh will, Mesh will do just fine, I think. We're going to look for Bryant or Charles on the corner. And that's going to be Bryant. Wide open, Martavis Bryant. He has really been just... It's been his coming out party these past couple of weeks, man. He's been doing very, very good. Uh, oh, we have a Mesh. I love Mesh. You guys know. It's my, I think it's probably my favorite play in the entire playbook. And that's going to be a wide open Julio Jones. I love corner routes. Oh, Julio breaks the tackle. I thought he was going to get six, but he uh, he got stopped. Let's do a hurry up. Hurry up and mesh to the other side of the field. Who's going to catch this touchdown? Randall Cobb. You haven't got a touchdown since earlier on today. So let's get you another one. Let's get you another one. And there he is. Easy. I love that play, man. I love mesh. It's so good. Four line, easy. Plenty of touchdown passes this season. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at him faked him out so bad. I love this team. I love this team. It's so much fun to play with them. Oh. <laughs> we have the ball the one yard line. Dare I dream a 99 yard touchdown pass? No. I don't dream that because I'm. I would probably get sacked. Uh, they're in the cover three. Eh, whatever. We're just going to run it regardless. Come on, don't let them through. All right. I'm going to call a timeout here. We're going to see if we can get down the field. We're going to see if we can get down the field somehow. I need a shotgun play, though. All right. Level sale? That looks good, yeah? Uh, hmm. And bump up that safety. It means safety blitz. And that's a wide open Orson Charles, my tight end. Oh, don't let him catch you, bud. And now we call a timeout. We have 14 seconds. I, I don't know. I don't think it's possible for us to... Ooh. Hold on here. I don't know if it'd be possible for us to actually score here, but uh, we're gonna try that one running, that one QB running play that we have. Now, is it in this formation? It's called QB Power, and there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I wanna try it, man. You guys know I love this play. Uh, rarely works out well, but when it does, it's so good. And here we go, get those blocks. All right, no blocks. <laughs> no blocks. All right, so we're gonna go, uh, we're just gonna run. We're just going to run the ball with uh, our running back. Give him another carry here before the half. And hopefully our defense will do a little bit better because, I don't know. They, they've scored twice in the first half. I'm not a big fan of that. They are really shutting him down. I mean, 7 for 12. No real run game to speak of this week. But our passing game is electric. So... We gonna say anything neat? Yeah. Oh my God. Ten rushing yards of 228 or 282, and uh, <laughs> yeah, they're they're running all over us on de or on on defense. But oh, there they go again. They've scored. All right. Well, it's gonna come down to I I think it's gonna come down to me in the passing game here. To be honest, I really do. All right. Oh. Oh, you want a one-on-one -on -one with Randall Cobb? 
One on one with Randall Cobb putting up the prayer. Ah. I'll put up those prayers. I'll put up those prayers. I wanted it, but. The announcers are right, though. They're like, one team is throwing, one team is passing. That could not be more true. All right, so we got Bryant, we got Cobb, Julio in the slot. Uh, go ahead and cover three again. Hmm. This should work. And that's going to be Randall Cobb. Or that's Martavis Bryant. I'm sorry. That's usually where that's usually where Randall Cobb is lined up. So uh, that's why I thought it was him. All right, so oh one trap. We should be good for a short little dive play, right? Come on, offensive line. Oh, my goodness. That guy got through clean. We have... N <laughs> I <laughs> I'm having flashbacks here, guys. I'm, I'm thinking back to playing with Washington when I had no run game. And how it was, like, really reliant on me. And if I made a mistake, well, then GG, you know? I'm getting I'm getting flashbacks of that this week because uh, this is the first time that Marcus Bryant's been shut down. And our defense cannot stop them, it seems. Goodness gracious. Well, let's not get flustered here. Let's uh let's just drive down and play our game. Let's uh gonna go for a play action scissors here to Charles. And they're I think they're blitzing and they are, and they're gonna leave Charles that open? <laughs> All right, her, I have three. I have 14 completions for 334 yards. Like, holy goodness! I like play action max protect here. Come on, blitz me, blitz me, please blitz me with your safety. Okay, that's a one-on-one -on -one with Julio, buddy. Wait, he caught. The, okay, so one, it didn't look like he was gonna catch that. Two, the announcer said the receiver came down with it before he actually came down with it. So that was a little bit weird. <laughs> that was definitely a little bit weird. Holy crap! I probably shouldn't have put up that prayer to be honest in a situation like this where we're playing from behind. But screw it. I need to really stop trying to get him involved. He is nine for eleven. You're saying they have the they have the 27th, that, and that's bad, by the way. 27 out of 32. They're ranked at the bottom of the league in terms of rush defense, yet they are dominating our run offense this week. Hey, get that, buddy. Good job, Randall. Whew. Whew. All right. Um, I don't know, man. I think we're just going to go slants again, to be honest. And oh, he's going to intercept that. He got there perfectly. I saw it as soon as I freaking pressed the button. Ugh. All right, defense. We're going to need you guys to actually play this time. All right, you guys played. You guys showed up. Good. Great. Grand. All right. Tampa has not turned over the ball at all this week. All right. Well, yeah, we're going to swap out to this play here. And... Good catch. Good catch. I have 392 passing yards here, guys. <laughs> Where's my help? I mean, my receivers are helping a ton. My tight ends are as well. But goodness gracious. I did not. I did not expect to have to be throwing like this today. Uh, play action read. QB power. I'm gonna audible out of this. Uh, look at him. They act like they act like they know I'm about to run that QB power. Then I hit him with this, and then they're gonna be like, "What?" And that's a one-on-one. -on -one. Get that, bud. Ah! I feel comfortable in the one-on-one -on -one situations. I mean, rarely is it intercepted. I need we need corner routes, smash corners. Uh, that could work. Although I think with that formation. Uh, I think with that formation, they're going to have uh, tight ends catching them rather than receivers. Oh, nope, we got Stevie there. Okay, so Stevie on the corner. If not, perhaps Barnett coming across. All right. And uh, my running back. Oh, gosh, where'd he come from? I didn't even see him. He was, like, hiding behind the linemen. We're on the 39-yard line. We actually need to go for this. We need to go for this. There's no way we can put a field goal from this distance. And, gosh. All right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, no, 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 I'm gonna call the play, specifically, because it's a money play, and we need, we, we need something good here, so it wouldn't be in that formation, where in the world even is it? 
It wouldn't be in that. That's like... I, I don't understand. What is happening here? It's not... The play I'm looking for... The play I'm looking for is in literally none of those formations. Unless it was that one that was... The Panthers heavy, but Panthers heavy doesn't make sense. I know I did, but the formation I'm looking for literally isn't there. Well, I guess we have to punt now. The play I'm looking for is four wide. And they're all bunched together. There was only one bunched up together formation that I saw. It might have been there. Maybe I missed it, but... That was a crappy fun too. If I, gosh, our defense is really about to just He has 32 carries for 215 yards. Good God, put eight in the box, please. They're gonna drive down! Then that's the end of the game! We literally lost! <laughs> I didn't think we would go undefeated on the season. I really didn't. But that is... I don't think anybody anticipated our loss would come to the 1-7 and seven Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the shoulders of a 250-yard game on the ground from John... Not, yeah, John... No, it wasn't Jonathan Charles, right? Jamal Charles. I don't know why I wouldn't call him Jonathan Charles. Good God! Like, I understand, like, not being able to stop a passing game. Like, I don't know, it's hard. There's a lot of skill involved there with wide receivers and versus the corner and the throw and the timing and all that, right? But how hard is it to stop a running back? Put eight in the box. There you go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I cannot believe we lost that game. I cannot believe we lost that game. They only had 285 rushing yards, guys. Gee, I wonder what they're going to do on any given play. <laughs> like, was there ever any actual question? Well, 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 God, our defense let us down this week. So, Jameis went 15 of 21 for a whopping 144 yards and a touchdown. Whereas, Jamal Charles ran 39 times for 250 yards. Their backup running back ran in two touchdowns for crying out loud. They ran with a running back 45 times. <laughs> Defense. <laughs> uh, now I admit I probably could have played a little bit better, but I think I did okay considering I had no run game whatsoever. I mean, nine carries for 11 yards. You're a complete waste of space out there. I, I had 18 completions for 397 yards. I feel as though that was just not my fault. I feel as though I did everything I could that game, and they just said, no, sir. No, sir, not this week. Whew. That was... Well, that's the fun of the Madden NFL 16 playthrough. You never know what's going to happen on any given week. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop me a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.